Welcome fellow adventurers to our little spot on the internet. Join us as we explore our world. Follow along as we share our adventures on the roads less traveled. The truck, a trailer, and we three. Come along! Good morning, adventurers. Here we are in an unknown secret location for some place called Les Schwab Tires. <laughs> secret unknown. Well, in that case, we'll just call it Estacada. And uh, we're here to have some tires put on the truck. And we're gonna put a uh, airbag lift system on the back to help compensate. And uh, you can see we got diesel and def yesterday and it went everywhere. Back of the truck still yet to be organized from the move. While we're here, we're gonna take our tires that are dated 2016 on the trailer and we're gonna replace those with less swab. Gonna leave the spare for now. Tracy, my tire expert, says that we're okay with that. But you can see right here, the tire date says 2016. Um, yes, that was the year it was made, but it was also the week that it was made in. It was made in the 20th week. So we're gonna replace all four of the main tires as we do it. And uh, that's what's on store for today. Inside Tracy's shop. This is Oregon, and this county just went back into full lockdown for a week only. So Oregon's got it worse than most, and uh, we'll see how it goes. There's Tracy himself right now, getting it going. Yeah, they've uh, did it for uh, aerodynamics, I think. And Tracy, when the tires come off, mm -hmm. they get spin balance. Why is it important to spin balance tires on a trailer? Because some of the people on YouTube don't think you have to spin balance tires. That doesn't make any sense to me. Does that make sense to you? It does. Uh, well, yes and no. People think that balance is just due to vibration issues, and it's not. Tires and wheels have stiff and heavy spots in them, so it equals it out. So the tire runs the, the best that it can run. As big as this thing is, I'm surprised it's only two apps. And when you're doing your tires, making sure you have the right ones. Tracy actually checked the sticker to make sure we're good. And we also know what the pressure is. And we were talking about the gross weight of the trailer. It's all right there in front of you. Need to make sure that you know what it is. The traction being all mounted and wet and clean. Baby's getting new shoes. One of the advantages of the uh, big Super Duty trucks is they have a drum brake and a disc brake all combined together. So it makes it a real pain to change. Great for towing. Kind of a pain to change if you have to do it. I think when it's time to do the brakes in the back, I'll let Tracy do the brakes in the back. This is where the airbags are going to go. Help oh, balance out the ride. Should make things much better. Old tire, old tire, new tire.
Kevin's putting them on like he's at NASCAR. And now you know why they buy steel toe shoes when you're working in the tire industry. So lift it up, be smart, roll it onto something. So right here, Bitterroot Barbershop, right next to Tracy's store in Astakata. Great haircuts, pretty awesome. I went in looking like a shaggy dog, come out being pretty dressed, pretty good. What y'all think? Leave your comments below. No, but it did look like they killed a dog in her studio, so that was pretty funny. Another customer trailer coming in, and uh, same thing, he's got uh, Tires hardly worn, but they're seven years old and he's made the decision to get rid of them in the eye of safety. And I don't know who designed the waste dump system on this trailer, but with your cap right off the end of the tire, if you were to blue the tire on this trailer, you would completely destroy your waste dump system and that's just plain scary to me I think I'd be getting some PVC and some elbows and rerouting that thing but that's just personal opinion but they know to come see Tracy here at Les Schwab in Estacated, Oregon to get it done <laughs> There's the bags. Josh is going to be putting them on. There's all the brackets. He's the one that got stuck doing it. Josh and Jeff, the guys over in the other side of Les Schwab. They're the ones who do all the technical work. I've had them both here until after 7 o'clock. Working on my Mazda, that's why I come here. I think that was closer to nine. These guys are good. Yeah, actually it was I think 9.30, almost 10 o'clock before I got out of here. There's Jeff. <laughs> and there it is, it's all done. The trailer's hooked up, all the weight is on the hitch and the truck is sitting level. Got the Firestone airbags installed. And now I'm probably going to have to readjust the hitch to compensate for the uh, fact the truck's riding level, but what a change. So excited. Once again, I'd like to thank Tracy and all the people that worked on my truck today, including Josh, Jeff, here at the Estacada Les Schwab. A little bit out of the way but you'll never find better people to work on your vehicles. That's my story and I'm sticking to it.